Hey, this is Jim from TTPM. After my last Rare Toy videos, I got so many responses that people wanted to see more. By the way, somebody even sent me a link that the Darth Vader press kit that I received from Hasbro was on eBay for $5,500. Tempted to sell, but I don't sell these toys. So I have four more toys today, and let's jump into it. The first toy I want to discuss today is something from my childhood. I have a toy from 1966. Can you imagine that? It's 54 years old. I could never part with it. It's a great skill and action game. It doesn't exist today. Because of video games, I don't think there was the need to make it. Now I'm gonna bring in the box, and here it is. It was made by Cataco, and it's called Basket. And within the box, you have two backboards, a visitors and home team, and it's all played within the box. You have a ping pong ball and you have levers and each lever controls shooting the basket. So you would start out, drop the ball in the middle and see who gets to go. If it lands on yours, you just take and fire. Hey, that's two points. It's a great school and action game. It's not that easy. It's just that I'm not good. You get a free throw, they're worth one point. There you go, I'm loading it up. Now you also have bank shops off the side. You gotta learn to use the backboard. This is an old fashioned skill and action game that I think kids would enjoy today, but maybe they're too busy playing video games. This is one of my favorites. This is a toy I'm never gonna get rid of. The next item I have is amazing for many reasons. It was a voluntary recall because it was slightly inappropriate. And when Mattel Toys had this recall, Nobody recalled it. So let me show you the toy. The toy is from 1997. It's 23 years old. And I'm gonna show you something that is unbelievable. So the toy is Red Repeating Tarzan. And you're looking at this toy and goes, what's wrong with it? The movie was a pretty good movie. Uh, Mini Driver is starring in the movie. The movie did well in the box office. And so it was Tarzan. Well, being as appropriate as I can, if you notice where Tarzan's arm and hand is, this is the way the toy came, and there's a button on the box, and you press his back, and he lets out a yell. So people were running around doing this, and you can imagine, there are a lot of people that laugh, and thought it might be slightly inappropriate. Now, what is even more amazing about this? This toy is 23 years old, and think about batteries. The try me feature in this toy still works. You hear Tarzan yelling and it's 23 years old. We're worried about batteries that wear out in six months or a year. What is keeping this battery working after 23 years? I'd like to know what's in here. So that was from around 1997. It might have been 98. So let's stay in that time frame, 1997, 1998. There was a little movie. Now, if you're under quarantine like me, you needed to kill four hours. What was the biggest movie of all time? Titanic. And when Titanic came out, everybody expected it to sink. The buzz on it wasn't great. It was gonna be James Cameron's flop. Therefore, many of the big companies did not go for the license, but one company did, and it was Galoop Toys. And Galoop Toys grabbed the Rose Collector doll. Now, an important thing about this collector doll, I have a daughter who thinks this doll is hers. No, it's to me by Gary Niles, who was the president of Galoob. And if you don't know Gary Niles, I'll bring back the name. I walked into the office that day and he had on red glasses and the assistant said he thinks he's Alfred E. Newman from Mad Magazine. But if you met Gary, you know what I'm talking about. A little bit crazy. So this is the Rose doll. Now, the one thing I didn't love about this doll where is the heart of the ocean? The heart of the ocean is not on this doll. They do show it in the back on her dress, but it would have been nice to have at least a fake one on this doll. Now, speak of Titanic, I had a club fox. There's a big argument. Does Rose die at the end of the movie? I was actually at Lightstorm. I met John Lando. I called up Fox. And so here's your answer. Does she die at the very end or is she just going to sleep? Their answer is, and I quote, the ending was wrote ambiguously, so you can interpret it any way you want. So if you think she dies at the end, she dies. If you don't think she dies, she lives. But this is the Rose doll, a collector's item, a collector doll, never been opened 
from the movie Titanic. So we're gonna stay around the same time period, almost the same year. A pop sensation went around the world. This group became really hot. And staying in with dolls, it was the Spice Girls. Now they came out by Galoop Toys, and if you look at the package, this was Spice Girls on tour. And do you recognize who this is? This is Ginger Spice, also known as Jerry Hallwell. So this is a doll of Jerry Hallwell. It is not a singing doll. And it features on the back all the Spice Girls. And being how huge the Spice Girls were, decided not to open it. The sculpt is pretty good, it looks a little like her. I thought the hair could have been a little bit better, but it's another collector's item that I just couldn't part with. Was this my favorite Spice Girl? No, but it's the one that I kept. So these are just a few of the items I've kept through the years. I have many more. I even have some toys that are 80, 90 years old. And so if you stay tuned and follow us on TTPM Toy Reviews, you'll see more of these in the coming months.